Welcome to this episode of 8-Bit Simulation, Designing for the Worst. With the help of George the Ape, we'll be taking a look at how you can run a model frequency analysis using Autodesk Fusion 360. But first, our video game challenge. Beat my time and score on the first level of Rampage and post your video to our Facebook page for your chance at a great retro prize. Much like in Hot Track's Cool Trucks, we're able to stay inside of Fusion 360 for both the design and analysis of our model. Starting with an image, we're able to sketch a building similar to the bank in Rampage. Everything from the windows to the floors have been modelled to give a more accurate representation to help determine natural frequencies. Clicking on Simulation, we'll choose Model Frequencies as our analysis type and then define the materials. We'll assume that this is an old limestone building, so to keep things easy, we'll select all of the parts and choose limestone. Our loads and boundary conditions are simple for this design, so picking boundary conditions and the bottom surface of the building is all that is needed for the setup. We also need to define bonded contact between all of the parts, which can be done automatically. In the results, we can see the first eight mode shapes that have been calculated. By animating the results, we can see how the building would be moving at each frequency. Understanding these frequencies and mode shapes will help us when designing for traffic vibrations, earthquakes or giant ape attacks. As we learnt in the Barrels of Kong, we know we're supposed to keep our design simple for simulation, so instead of modelling George, we'll use a point mass, defining his weight of 200,000 kilograms and moving the mass to where he will hang is all we need to do for our second analysis. We can see that this giant ape has only slightly changed the natural frequencies of a 200-foot building. At least this is one less concern for when giant mutants attack. <laughs> 